Hi, my name is Andrea Benatti. I'm uh, the chef at the Benatti restaurant in Cambridge. Today we're gonna learn how to make a gnocchi potato and uh, pesto alla genovese. We're gonna start with the ingredient. Very simple. Uh, we're gonna use uh, idle potato, flour, couple eggs, salt. For the pesto alla genovese, we're gonna use uh, fresh basil, pine nuts, parmigiano reggiano, salt and pepper, and a little bit of garlic. We have to boil the potato. Usually they take uh, 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, uh, depend on the size. Um, here, um, the, the doughs we use today, there are uh, two pound of potato and almost two pound of flour. Uh, for convenience, I already boiled a uh, couple of potato that are ready. And so we're gonna go uh, and peel the potato. They are hot. There is no um, really um, a perfect uh, recipe uh, in those for the gnocchi. Uh, depend a lot of um, the, the potato, the quality of the potato. Sometimes they are more watery and uh, so they absorb uh, more uh, flour. And so uh, my recommendation is that try a couple times to make uh, the gnocchi and you're gonna feel um, with the, you know, the, the experience, with the, the touch of the finger and the, your hand, the consistency of the, of the dough. Now we're gonna make a, a bed of flour. Like I said before, this uh, it's almost uh, a pound and a half, but I'm not gonna use all because I wanna see how the, the potato absorb. Okay. We have to pay attention, let the potato cool off a little bit because we're gonna uh, put on top, uh, break on top uh, the eggs and we don't wanna cook the egg. Now we add a little bit of salt. We can taste the dough after later on and feel the right. One. Two. And now start the, the messy part where we need to use the, the end. I remove the excess of the flour. This is the best part. The consistency has to be um, kind of soft. Uh, the dough has to be really soft. And you can always uh, add flour. Uh, you can do the opposite. If it's too hard, you can add the potato. Now here, I'm gonna remove a little bit of extra flour. This is thick on the bottom. We can incorporate the leftover of potato. Okay. 
you see it's going to be really messy I'm adding a little bit of flour because it's still very wet and if we leave like this when uh, we make the gnocchi uh, and we put in the water they're gonna they're gonna break they're gonna dissolve so a little bit more well today is also a very humid day so the, the dough feel the the weather Okay, now we can start to roll the gnocchi. We take a piece of the dough. We need to have some flour. We roll, try to make like a, a snake shape. We have to start from the inside and slowly, slowly going on on outside, right and left. When it's too long, you can cut, don't worry. It's easier to handle. And after. I mean, there are many ways. There are people in Italy, they use uh, a fork and they just do like this and just give a different shape, different texture. Uh, I prefer very simple. A little bit of flour because they don't stick. And we can leave here. Nice. Now we um, they can rest here. We can go move on a, um, on a sauce, on a pesto. We're going to make a, a pesto alla genovese now. And we're going to start with the uh, fresh basil, nice fresh basil, uh, salt and pepper, garlic, uh, fresh pineapple, and parmigiano reggiano. First thing we put in the food processor, the pineapple. After we add the basil, oh, this is very simple, and we clean a couple cloves of garlic. Everything all together, basically. Parmigiano. Salt and pepper. And slowly, slowly, oil. Extra virgin olive oil is better. Much better. Always start with the, the best ingredient, the good, the real Parmigiano Reggiano, and uh, the best uh, extra virgin olive oil. Here, the consistency uh, depends. Sometimes uh, you can make uh, the pesto more runny, adding more olive oil, or you can stop almost at this level when it's more thick. I prefer because I finish after in a, in a saute pan and when I cook the, the gnocchi. We just taste if it's the salt. That's perfect.
nice color. Voila. Now we're gonna cook the, the gnocchi and we're gonna make uh, the sauce, the pesto genovese sauce. Uh, first thing, we have to grab a, a saute pan, the pesto, one big uh, spoon, a cube of butter, getting hot. We can throw the, the gnocchi in, in the boiling water. They're gonna take uh, no long time, probably 30, 40 seconds. As soon as they start floating, uh, they are ready. We had a little bit, a splash of cream, probably an ounce. Of a little bit of chicken stock. Just salt and pepper. We taste pepper. I think it's time. We throw the gnocchi in the sauce. another 30 40 seconds parmigiano reggiano and they are almost ready very easy even if we start from scratch, it doesn't take a long time. It's a recipe, it's a dish. Uh, the difficulty is probably one. <laughs> and uh, take uh, all the process from making the dough and uh, the finish, to finish the dish, probably 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Okay, this is the right consistency of the sauce. And we plate gently. Definitely this dish remind me Liguria in Italy. E voilà, the gnocchi pesto alla genovese. A little bit of fresh basil as a decoration. Wonderful. We can uh, put a little bit of uh, olive, extra virgin olive oil on top, just to finish, give a nice, uh, nice touch, refreshing. Enjoy.